Hello again, a new day, another experiment. It's almost 30 degrees and it's more to go for the afternoon. What we got here, uh, if you remember, I just had a, an autopsy, I may call it, for this uh, car amplifier. That's a power acoustic hash MR280. And uh, I think today we are ready for having a dyno test. No, a really power test for this amplifier. Like I said before, it's a really nice class AB complementary bipolar transistor amplifier. It have a boost converter. It's taking 12 volts and uh, rise it up to double A 10.5. And uh, that's a great idea, by the way. And it's class AB. That means really, really nice audio quality. It's almost hi-fi, you know, it, it's amazing good sound. The point is that this kind of amplifier can be used in many other purposes, not only in the car, you know. You can use it at home, it can be a really nice stereo amplifier. What I got here is just improvising a resistance, a resistor, in fact, for a, a load to the amplifier. So I'm using my low resistance uh, meter to check 2.42 and here, 316. So if we go from here to here, we have like Okay, you can go out from here. 6.95 ohm. So, for the beginning, I'm gonna use 346. Okay, for the beginning, I'm gonna use this uh, resistance, this resistor here. It's almost 4 ohms, 3.5. So, that's more than perfect for uh, for a one channel, for a mono channel. I don't want to use 8 ohms. Just want to finish the test as quick as possible. And uh, let me have also my oscilloscope in place and we are ready to go let's put down the volume for now all the filters full bus boost yes why not volume and i have my power here on the wall i have uh, exactly 12 volts minus and plus Do we have a green light yes we have let me have this one on to see about the amps input I'm gonna use my phone like a signal generator. The most important thing now is to see the oscilloscope. And let's start with a classic 1000, 1000 Hertz signal. And we are on. So already start limiting. Let's see about numbers here. So we have an RMS of three or right here, 10.2 volts RMS. And let me see if I get the bus boost. Doesn't really matter. It's 1000 kilohertz. So start clipping around 10.1 kilohertz, 10.1 uh, volts RMS. And we have like 4.22 amps from, uh, from the battery. Let's change the let's change the frequency now. Let's go for 50 hertz. Let the oscilloscope adjust to the new frequency. Oh, oh. 899 volts with 3.89 amps. Look there. And I can feel the heat from the resistor. Ah, okay, let's see. 5000 hertz. Whoa, 5000. It's really going strong. Not more than this. Look at the current there as I'm getting the volume up. We have one amp there. Look, and it's going up to 5 amps, 5.25 amps. Let's go back to 1000. That's the classic. I can even hear them, the boost converter. If we count the distortion, then we can have around maximum 12 volts or something. But this is a very clear and nice sinus wave at 9.75 volts. Let me see. Well, it's a little bit warm, but that's more than okay. The next experiment is uh, to have a load of 2 ohms in bridge. Okay, so for, for the second test, uh, I'm gonna have all these resistors in uh, parallel. So I'm gonna reach a kind of 
1.64 yeah 1.65 ohms well this machine supposed to to work with two ohms i don't see any problem having this 168 so we'll see the results power on green led it's on and already eight amps oh my already eight amps from the battery okay what we got here volume up nine ten amps i think that's it we have rms 6.20 nine volts steady and 12 amps from the battery and that's pretty impressive that was 1000 hertz let's see 50 hertz nothing is there any protection 5000 something like this 7.61 volts on like this and we have like almost 13 amps from the from the battery right down anyway 1000 hertz it's working marvelous okay so that's the point when the sinus signal is getting in the middle somehow 14.2 amps and 8 volt out what about the temperature 40 degrees 41 degrees it's absolutely okay i think it's nice 30 amps from the battery no protection yes i'm absolutely sure the amplifier is working beautiful save we are on 100 hertz i'm really curious and we got like 8.1 volts rms a pretty good so that's the the, mo the minimum volume here let's see bus boost okay 0.1 on 100 hertz i think that's I it think for now to now see that even even 40, with, with uh, 45 points anyway. the amplifier it's working great Output. let's go and do the mathematics about so we got the numbers here we have two different tests, one with a 3.46 ohms output, that's the output uh, resistor or load, let's call it load. And the other one with 1.65, it should be 2 ohms, but I didn't have any 2 ohms uh, resistor, so I used what I had. Let's have some, uh, some mathematics here, formula for for uh, checking the power it's very simple power equals voltage squared divided by resist so in our case we have the output 10.2 times 10.2 104 divided by uh, how much is there oh 3.46 and that gives me around 30 watts okay let's go further then we have on 50 hertz 899 times 899 divided by 3.47 around 23 23 dots and then 5000 5000 hertz we have 10.2 times 10.2 divided by 3.46 29 or something 29 watts of audio power well i didn't expect too much because it's a very classic a b class amplifier but anyway it's good enough and that is with zero percent of distortion so it's pure sinus signal okay let's go down to case number two to test number two the output is 1.65 and this is bridge so now the amplifier it's a mono amplifier okay uh, we have really interesting results here so we have two tests of 1000 one went with 2629 the other one 8 rms and let's see the first case 629 i'm not sure about that maybe 29 divided by 1.65 we got like 23 watts okay that's kind of uh, that's kind of crazy because if we take uh, power it's u times e voltage times intensity or current so we have like 12 volts, 12 amps, I'm sorry, times, we, if you remember, we had like uh, 37 volts, that should be around 444 watts, 
So it's kind of strange here. I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing the things right. Or it's a kind of limiter. But anyway, it's a lot of amps from the power supply. I mean, from, from the battery. Then maybe I'm wrong. You have to comment this and please correct me. 5000 Hertz here. Okay. 50 Hertz. I couldn't have a reading. Maybe it's a filter. Uh, around 50 Hertz and something in the first case it was working but not in the second okay 5000 now we have 7.6 so we have like 35 watts then at 1000 Hertz the second reading uh, it's 64 it's 8 times 8 now, right, divided by 1.65, 38. Now it's something wrong here, it's impossible. It's something really wrong over there. Let me see if the test was on 10x like we had on the screen from my oscilloscope yes it was on 10x and what about the oscilloscope itself AC 10 yeah okay that's it and uh, okay we have another one 100 Hertz if 8.1 so that's almost the same it should be like 40 watts well I thought it's better but maybe I'm wrong with my measurements I see the point is that it's not the first time when I'm doing this and uh, I'm pretty sure my uh, methodology of doing these measurements are pretty okay so the best result is maybe this one 40 watts in bridge I really don't know the amps was really really high and that's a kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of strange. So we have 30, let's say we have 23 watts with 3.9 amps and we have 38 watts with 14.2 amps. I don't understand. Okay, but that's it for today. Please comment. If I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. I'll be happy to have new measurements and I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Please comment, like and subscribe. Don't forget to have fun. Bye bye. <laughs>